Joining us now from FEMA headquarters in Washington is FEMA Administrator Deanne Criswell. Ms. Criswell, thank you so much for joining us. We know it's a very busy and stressful time for you, but can you give us a current update on where things stand with your response to the hurricane? Yeah, good morning, Michael. Um, what I'm hearing through the night is that this has been uh, just a catastrophic storm and it's left significant damage in its path. And we know that there are hundreds of thousands of people that have been impacted by this. And my heart really goes out to all of them right now. Uh, today, our priority is saving lives. We know, again, that there's been a number of people that have been impacted that might be trapped. Uh, we're hearing reports of people that have been calling 911 through the night. Um, our teams were supporting the state through the night to prioritize the areas, and our search and rescue teams have been out since 4 o'clock this morning. Teams that we had put in place well in advance of the storm to make sure they could get in there as soon as it was safe to go start saving lives. Uh, we're still very focused on what's happening on the east, though, and uh, have resources is ready and prepared to support any needs that might happen there as well as the storm continues to move across Florida. Yeah, the storm is, is still going. And, and where are you seeing the worst of the storm and, and what are the biggest needs right now? Uh, from what I'm hearing right now is the most significant impacts have ha been happening in Lee County. Uh, they're without power. They're without water. They're going to do some immediate assessments. Today is my understanding to determine the extent of that and what we might have to do to help support the residents that are there. But we're hearing impacts that are going to be across that western coast of Florida. And so that's why we're going to have teams out today making sure that we're saving lives. Again, our biggest priority. And I just want to tell people that water is dangerous. Even though the storm has passed, the water that's there is still dangerous. Mm -hmm. There's debris, there's chemicals, there could be down power lines. People need to be careful. They need to stay vigilant. Yeah, that is a very, very important message there. And we heard you say earlier that FEMA is involved in the search and rescue efforts. But what are the obstacles of getting the people who desperately need help right now? Yeah, so what we put in place, Michael, is uh, a really robust set of resources that is comprised of the, the Coast Guard, uh, the Department of Defense, the Department of Interior, as well as our FEMA Urban Search and Rescue Teams. And this is just to complement the really incredible capability that the state of Florida already has. So we are able to do rescues by land, by air, and by sea. And so we have the right resources that can get into these areas. We know that there's going to be areas that are hard to access, but these are the best of the best that are out there. They, they've done this before, unfortunately, so they know what to do. They know how to get in to help these people. And we're using the information that we've been getting through the night to help prioritize the areas that we need to go to first. Ms. Criswell, thank you so much for your time. We echo your sentiments in our hearts with everyone who is affected by Hurricane Ian. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Michael. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.